Hi, uh, welcome back to the Foundation of the Blues series. Um, this is the last video in the Beginner's Foundation of the Blues. Uh, this is called You Can Play the Blues. And because uh, you can. Okay, now at this point, you've had lesson one, lesson two, uh, lesson one giving you the basic you know, foundation uh, to work from, the building block. Then I've uh, showed you four licks that are pretty you know iconic they're the ones that uh, guys use a lot um, and then you have um, also in addition to that uh, now uh, this third lesson which gives you practical application of the licks that I taught you all right so what I uh, what I have here is um, uh, two backing tracks they're very similar they're in G uh, that we're going to play these licks over the top of and also inflect some of the minor pentatonic scale which you learned in the first lesson as well so it's an opportunity to apply the things you learned to these backing tracks and I'll also have these backing tracks available to you linked below uh, with the uh, with all of the uh, charts uh, for the licks and the minor pentatonic scale and uh, another scale too that uh, you can use to play to, along with um, the uh, this will be the last in the beginner series and we're going to step things up and we're going to get a little more difficult as time goes on next video is going to be uh, still foundation of the blues uh, I might go with lesson number four um, uh, beginner to intermediate uh, but it should provide you with uh, some additional skills, some more tools for your toolbox. All right. Um, right now, I have uh, these two backing tracks. I have them in my DAW back to back. And something that you can do is when you, when I have these, when you go to the videos, the backing tracks. You can bring those into your computer if you got good speakers in your computer. Uh, just crank it up, crank up your guitar amp, find a good mix between your lead and the the backing track, and you can jam along with those. It's great practice. Um, here comes the backing tracks now. So what we'll do is um, uh, we're gonna go through the four primary licks first. Uh, we're gonna do the pentatonic scale very simply and then I'm just going to start to inflect uh, some of my approach to uh, those licks uh, so that you have uh, an idea of the freedom that you have to play okay so here are the uh, the four primary licks that we learned okay number one here's lick number two remember the whole tone Ben then here's the uh, half tone Ben the uh, fourth lick and the matter minor pentatonic scale in there as well you can't hit a wrong note if you stay in that box
Okay. So here's a good example of uh, the um, the licks applied to a slow blues. Now I stepped up the tempo on this one a little bit. So let's jam along with this one. All right. Go ahead. It's all about you. Just picking notes out of the minor pentatonic scale and just making up licks as I go along. And you can do that if you know the minor pentatonic scale. And here you go. That's just minor pentatonic scale stuff. myself a little bit there but uh, it's all still in the minor pentatonic scale no matter how you slice it again you guys you guys know them all right are you putting them in a little variation on that lick there I, I kept it going a little bit right here so that's just another lick inside of that as you can tell but those are the two backing tracks. <laughs> so, those are the two backing tracks that um, you have available downstairs here. I also, I'll link them up over here. Uh, probably down here. And of course, you know, subscribe. Don't forget about subscribe. And um, uh, you can pull those uh, videos up and I'll have the charts uh, embedded in the video so that they'll be right there in front of you while you're practicing. I'll have the minor pentatonic scale and all four lick charts that, uh, that we worked on. And uh, you can just look up if you get uh, confused about it you can just look up and see the chart and uh, you know that where the notes are at then so it's a uh, 
it's a just supporting the the lessons a little bit uh, with these two backing tracks. So uh, go to uh, go to the links and uh, check out the backing tracks. Yeah, I'm trying to get some clicks out of you too. So if you could, um, and I think you'll benefit from it. I think you'll I think they'll be helpful to you. So uh, look forward to um, getting your reaction. Uh, please comment. Um, I hope you enjoyed the uh, three lessons uh, for the first series uh, that I've done uh, for the foundation of the blues. The second series is I'm I'm working on it right now. Uh, it'll st I'm going to start with uh, eight essential uh, blues licks. Everybody, every guitar should know and. Um, we're going to get try to get as many tools in your toolbox as, as uh, we can get uh, so that you can tell your story and, uh, and have your voice come through the instrument and your feelings and your heart and soul. Because that's what this whole thing is all about, is telling a story, telling your story, not mine, yours. So uh, I look forward to... Um, your reaction to this uh, please if you're not subscribed currently please subscribe if you have uh, uh, if this is the only video that you've seen in this series I would um, implore you to uh, go and uh, check out the first and second uh, videos uh, number two number one and number two and then this is number three uh, in the uh, beginners uh, foundation of the blues series so um thanks for watching and we'll see you again very soon on this channel